Hey, JP here. This is magnetohydrodynamic, or MHD, test firing number 128. This is part of our plasma engine development for our airship to orbit program. MHD is just one aspect of our hybrid chemical electric rocket engine. Rather than a few big firings, we do lots and lots of little ones. Often, we're just testing one small improvement. These small-scale tests lets us do lots and lots of tests on a very tiny budget. When we really understand a particular aspect of the engine, that's when we scale that part up on our tests. Here are a few of the earlier tests. Test firing 128 has two purposes. The first is to test using cement that we cast into 3D printed molds for the MHD channel and for the structure of the unit itself. We made a short video about making cement parts and 3D printed molds. There's a link to it in the description below. The second is to get calibration data on the new unit. This will tell us about the channel configuration, you know, how the electrodes interact with the plasma, assuming that it actually holds together. One of the big concerns is thermal shock. It is over 2,000 degrees at the core. We've been using glass and it works, but the thermal shock tends to break off slivers that shoot out everywhere. A bit of a safety hazard. <laughs> Machine ceramics is the normal answer, but it's pricey for the number of tests and the constant configuration changes that we do. We had three cameras looking at the test and shockingly, all three ran. So here it is, first at full speed and then in slow motion. Success! The channel blocks and the capping plate held up great. We had no erosion in the system. There was just a small crack in the upper plate, but I think that was from the magnets slamming down during assembly. All of our earlier units have really been just one-time use. However, with this one, it looks like all we need to do is rinse it off and it's ready to test fire again. We ran this test at 0.605 Teslas, not the cars, but the unit of magnetic field strength. We always measure the voltage across the electrodes during a run. This lets us know the general performance of the MHD unit. It also tells us if we got the spacing, the angle of the electrodes, and the channel configuration correct. We hit 4.82 volts and the curve of the voltage matched the thrust curve without dropouts. We are actually pretty happy with the results. This is going to make it a lot easier and cheaper to run the next series of tests. Eventually, 
we'll need to shift to the machine ceramics for some of the components, but we'll run with the 3D printed molded cement for as long as we can get away with it. Now that we know the cement channels work, we'll be doing a series of more complex tests with about 10 more firings. These will include some new magnet configurations, more sensors, and power in for thrust enhancement. One step at a time. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and help keep the research going. Thank you for watching. JP Aerospace, America's other space program.